Okay, we reached the bean. This sculpture, nicknamed the Bean, located in Chicago, is made of 168 polished stainless steel plates welded together seamlessly, giving it a highly reflective surface. If you go underneath, you can see a pretty trippy reflection. But my visit there got me thinking, what would it be like inside of the Bean? Well, unfortunately, when I tried to get inside, the pesky security got in the way. YouTuber caught trying to break his way inside the cloud gate monument. So I had to go with plan B. First off, instead of getting inside a perfectly polished bean mirror, let's do something way cooler and get inside a perfectly polished spherical mirror. Unfortunately, they don't sell spherical mirrors any bigger than this. So instead, we're gonna shrink you down to this size. This is my 360 degree camera dressed up as a human. Well, kind of a human, more like a cyclops. But the reason we're doing this is so that you can get the full effect of seeing how your reflection would look if you were actually inside of a spherical mirror. This video is a follow-up to my video where I stuck a laparoscopic camera inside a spherical mirror. And in that video, one of the top comments that had over 30,000 likes said, what if you stick a 360 degree camera inside of a spherical mirror? First off, we just have to shrink you down. Oh, it worked. <laughs> hey down there, you look great. See how you look in the mirror. Okay, well let's jump inside the spherical mirror and see what it looks like. In this video, I'll be controlling your view of the 360 degree camera to show you the most interesting views. But if you want to see all of the views and you control the camera angle, then I'll put a link in my description of an interactive version of this video on my other channel. And you'll be able to take your phone and wherever you change your phone and look, it'll look that direction with the 360 degree camera. It's pretty cool. After you're done with this video, you can go to that one. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the two hemispheres of the spherical mirror and slowly move them in the front and back of you. So you can look around and see one coming towards you from the front and one coming towards you from the back. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, here we go. At this point, you're standing right in the middle of the spherical mirror, and it's just black. But not because there's not light inside. In fact, if we do it again with the light, you'll still see mostly blackness at the center. So I'm just gonna put this light on top of you in here. Okay, now it'll stay light inside and I'm gonna enclose you in the spherical mirrors again with you right in the center. So now inside of here again, even with a light on our head, we still see darkness. You can kind of make out some faint images and you can kind of see some scratches and smudge prints on there. But other than that, you can't really see anything. It's just kind of a black image with a faint body image. So I have just one half of the spherical mirror. Watch what happens when I move you close just to the one half. So you shouldn't be looking at my face right now. Look at the spherical mirror. It looks like we're touching some surface because our image comes close to us, but really we're just barely entering the mirror. There's a lot of space in between us and the back of the mirror. Notice how the black thing you're looking at is the eye. So in this case, you're seeing the camera lens. In real life, you'd be seeing your own pupil. The reason is because if your eye is right at the center of the mirror at the entrance, then all of the paths of light are leading directly to your pupil. So all you can see is your own eye. Since there's no light coming from your eye, it's dark. So you're literally seeing your pupil magnified. But in this demonstration, your eye isn't exactly in the center, so you're kind of seeing your own body. And again, since there's no light coming from your body, it's dark. Okay, now let's do something a little bit different. Instead of being at the center of the spherical mirror, I'm going to set you inside of the spherical mirror so you're offset a little bit. So you're going to be inside this half here, and then I'm going to set the other half on top of you. I'm going to put a light in there so you can see. <laughs> Look at that great view of yourself. <laughs> 
Okay, here we go, coming down on top. Okay, it's completely closed now. <laughs> so this is a little bit different than being in the center. You can actually make out your body now. I'm gonna turn off the outside the lights so that you don't see the gap around it. Okay, let's do the same thing now. Here we go. So now you can see yourself in all your glory. <laughs> Look how weird that looks. Okay, now I'm going to remove it. Okay, so another cool thing to try is to see what happens when you come closer to the hemisphere of the spherical mirror and try to stick something inside of it. There we go. Notice how you're upside down right now. But if you go in a little more, then you see yourself right side up again. So now you're almost touching the back of the spherical mirror. And if I move you out again, you flip over, and then you're upside down again. Now what's interesting is watch what happens when you stick something inside of the spherical mirror. It looks like it's popping out to touch you. And it can even go into itself. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did and you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.